Hey everyone, it's Caroline. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. It is how to do like the standard pose that a lot of other poses are going to be based off of. Um, but before we get on with the video, if you are new here or you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe down below. And now, let's get started. So since this is an inverted pose, if you have long hair, I would recommend putting it up because you don't want it to be getting down, hanging in your face, or distracting you in any way. So, there we go, up and out of the way. Now we are ready to go. First with this pose, you need to know where exactly the silk goes on your back. Not on your lower back, above your hip bones, and not on your butt. Just right kind of where your pants end. Then to keep it there, what you want to do is make sure that when you go, when you sit down, you're not letting it move, slide up, or change positions. You just want to hold it there and sit back flat like a tabletop. Then you're going to open your legs in a straddle position on the outside of the silk so that when you let go, you won't fall off. From here, you're going to meet your feet together in the prayer-like position on the same side as your hands and head are. Then you're going to put them into the middle of the silk and hook your toes and push up both of your legs. Then choose whichever leg you want and bend it down. Then we're going to do a big sit up and reach up and grab the silk here, grab the silk, and then monkey arm your way up and push your feet into the ground. From here, you can keep your legs bent, toes pointed, toes flexed, or straighten them. To make this the most comfortable, you want to raise your tailbone and push down your hips. Sitting back and under like this will not feel very good on the inside of your thighs. So you wanna make sure to sit up, you can lift and readjust. From here, there are multiple ways to get out of it. The easiest one is to close your knees, sit down, go back into your straddle position, hold on, and then sit forward. Well, the one that's a little bit more difficult does involve an inversion. So you wanna make sure that you have enough room so that if you fall forward, your head will not hit. Now, the easiest way to check if you have enough room for when you do your dive forward is to sit into the straddle position again, but faster and swing back. And then checking if you have enough clearance for your head. Do this slowly at first, and remember to keep your chin tucked. As you can see, I only have a few inches, but that is okay since I've been doing this for a long time. If you're just starting out and you're a little bit nervous, then you might want to raise yourself a little bit. For this one, what you want to do is take your hands from the outside and put them in front, and then move your hips forward and clasp your legs together. And then work your way forward however you want so it's most comfortable. Now, remembering that this isn't going to be a super comfortable pose, but it can only, it only has to be for a second. Then you're gonna lean forward with your chest, let go and grab the silk on the other side. And it looks like that. Then I'm grabbing the silk, putting it on that perfect spot, bending down into a tabletop position, grabbing up on the silk and falling back into your straddle. Then I'm meeting my feet here, hooking my toes and straightening my legs. Bending one and monkey crawling my arms all the way up while pushing my feet into the ground. Then from here, if you're not feeling comfortable, you can close your knees and back down. Or you can grab forward, put your hips forward, and then close your legs. Then tuck your chin and fall forward. Now we're going to teach you a variation with a double sag leg. You're gonna start off on your hips, bending down into your tabletop position and going into your straddle. Then you're gonna hook both your toes, just like we did before, except for with whichever foot you choose, you're going to go around and hook again. Then we're gonna sit up, monkey arm our way up on the one side where your toe is not doubly hooked. Then with the toe that is, push and sit up. Then you can straighten out, fix whatever you need to, so this looks pretty. Then point your toes, and you're ready for the picture. To come down for this, simply flex your foot, and it'll unhook, and then you're here. Then you can do whatever you want to go forward. So one of my puppies, Dante, wanted to help me teach you how to do um, double standard, which is basically the same as 
normal standard, but you do it twice. If you have enough room on your silk, this one, you must have enough room um, of extra fabric. We are going to do it again. So sit forward. So the silk kind of gets closer in together. Then tilt backwards and do standard again. Go into like your straddle, hook your legs. This one you won't have enough space to straighten out your legs, or at least I don't, but that's okay. Straight legs and then sit for it. Then to come down for this, you can come straight down this way or another variation of coming down is to grab onto the side, tilt forward with one of your legs and then hook your knee and then arch backwards, straighten your leg and then open up and sit here again. Then you can choose your method for coming down. So now both my dogs, Elmer and Dante, are going to be watching me over there. So now I've taught you three ways to come down from standard. You have your just coming straight down. You have a normal fall forward. And you have your one leg fall forward. Now I'm going to go more in depth on the one legged fall. So you start in standard. Then you grab both your hands on one side. Choose whichever side you want. I prefer to go to the right. Then you're going to take your opposite hip and sit it forward. Then fall with your shoulder and hook that leg. Then you can stay holding on here, that's fine. Or you can arch your back down, let go, and do pretty pose. Then simply slide your leg off and you're back in your straddle. Now if you've tried out standard and it hurts a little bit, this one is going to be a little bit more comfortable. This is thick standard. What you want to do for that is take your silk and if it's like mine like kind of all twisted up untwist it then you want to make sure that you find the very edge of your silk where you can unroll it no more then swing your fabric out so it's nice and long and then make sure you have that raw edge and sit just on that so it's not folded up a bunch of times underneath your booty. Then take your hands to the middle and the outside so you're nice and secure. Then hold down, open your legs, and go into straddle. Put your legs together, grab up, and sit forward. Now you have a nice booty cover. This one can be more comfortable or more strenuous depending on your body type. Then come on down north. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys check out another video. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to tell me if you liked having Elmer and Dante in the back of the video. And I will see you in another video. Bye guys!